You forgot all your Kiwi, didn't you? <laughs> yes, we were. I haven't spoken English. Well, I haven't spoken English since um, end of March. So also based on hard water. No, <laughs> uh, that takes a bit of time. But if, if I'm back home for a week in New Zealand, hmm? ah, double. Okay, double India Pale Ale. Okay, yeah. foggy window. Okay, all right. Foggy window is a nice name. Mm-hmm. Bit of a could be a San Francisco beer. Part mm-hmm. two of. Our, let's call it relationship. Uh, when I, when he wrote me that I could have uh, first love, I said, can I bring you anything from LA? Because I was in LA. And he said, yes, monkish. So it turns out that I was filming an episode on the same block because Hermosa Brewing is on the same block as monkish. And I had no idea. So I asked the brewer, do you know where monkish is? She said, yeah, just <laughs> over there. <laughs> so after the filming went over there, we have now a beer called Foggy Window Double IPA. I'm monkish and it has drink fresh. Am I blind? Drink. F- I know that I'm drink freshy. Drink freshy, but ah, here it is. Eight point one. Eight point one. Yeah. Well, that's definitely a double. Yep. Uh, not sessionable. Uh, don't say that before <laughs> yeah. you tasted it. <laughs> sessionable can be used. It can be sessionable way. and crushable, but yeah. still at the same time, very short, a heavy hitter. <laughs> I would say it, it looks the color um, crazy. Oh, oh I love the smell. <laughs> I sort of miss the whole hazy beer movement in Germany. Once it sort of got unpopular, well, I think... It, so, well, so hang on, so it was popular and it became unpopular? Well, apparently, I mean, my old bosses, uh, I said, I'd love, to, oh, uh, um, if you heard of this hazy beer, and they said, ah, don't try it, and then I didn't try it. <laughs> oh. Okay. About a year that or smells so. good though. Yeah. A bit, Love the smell. A bit silly. But once I got onto it. Cheers. Cheers. And Hazy Cheers. became my, my favorite beer. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Hazy's. But the Hazy's from the US, they just hit differently. Love it. I, I mean, I'm not a expert on beer vocabulary, but it, have, it seems to have way more body than uh, First Love. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what I tend to notice is that um, all of the hazy IPAs from the US, they tend to be a lot smoother. They're definitely They're really, really smooth right. mouth feel and it like spreads <clears throat> in your entire yeah. head. I, don't, I can't can't really describe it but if you compare like the best hazy ipa breweries in we have in germany it would be like probably first via check something like that yeah, uh, or frau gruber, frau sudden, gruber death. sudden death so you have sudden a lot of death, yeah. well you have a lot of hazy ipa breweries in germany now that do a really good job for yeah. well for germany but the hazy ipas from the us they just they they somehow hit differently well, they masters that's where it came from. Yeah, and they uh, and you always notice a difference. And it's for me, it's always this smooth, silky feeling on the tongue and the entire mouth. It just spreads across the entire mouth. And You're making me thirsty. Uh, mm. I think for me, it's, Love it. it's definitely <laughs> that this, mm. this mouth feeling that's silky that sort of yeah, covers the mouth, mm-hmm. um, but also the the such low CO two. Mm, um, yeah. level in, High drinkability. In so, it's, so it's got this, you sort of almost has, have to press the beer against the roof of your mouth to get a few pearls of CO2 bubbles. True. Um, yeah. But it, you can feel, you can taste it. It's there and it's, um, I like that because especially in a, in a country here in Germany, all of our beers have CO2 in them. Mm. Um, you go to England, you've got your car scales that are flat and that's on the other end of the spectrum. You like them? No. No, no way. Same no. way. <laughs> No, I was in a brewery in England, all cask beer. I thought it was shit. And then he gave well, me... It's flat and um, warm. <laughs> then he gave me all of the same flat, beers warm, no foam. in the can. And, and the better. can were, were carbonated. And mm-hmm. I drank them at the end of the day. And I said, oh my God. Great beers. What are you doing here? <laughs> They're great beers. You just... Ah, that's what they want. L- leave them to it. Mm. But the low level of CO2 in the Napier is probably one of my favorite things mm-hmm. of a Napier. Um, yeah, definitely this sort of a fine pearling on the tongue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's just got to be a monkish. It's like, I, I love monkish. <laughs> uh, 
Seriously, I, I love this brewery. I Definitely haven't had like a bad beer from them. Really? Can you order them here in Germany? You can. Yeah, for me, I'll But you don't, you want yeah, All right. it's cheaper if you do it by <laughs> Yeah, definitely, it's free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because, uh, yeah, Beyond Beer has them sometimes, but Beyond Beer, uh, yeah. It looks like I'm going to be over there in September, so. Alrighty, well. Yeah. Taking an order. Yep, definitely taking an order if you, if you're up for it. I'll trade you some Korean yeah. beers. <laughs> so, monkish. Some final words from yeah. uh, the experts. Uh, we talked about the hops. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was. It would be nice if they said what was well, in it. Exactly. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Can't, yeah, transparency. They, they exactly. Transparency <laughs> doesn't say on here what's in there, but um, I thought there's probably a wee bit of Centennial in mm -hmm. there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Um, and, and can I learn all that? Can I. Take a, a sommelier kind of yeah, class definitely. and and learn. I mean, or yep. neither of us is a sommelier. We exactly. just drink a lot of beer. Well, I drink so, a lot of beer. I know shit. Yeah, I need to yep. drink more beer. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, I've done the the brewing apprenticeship yeah. three years, but the the brewing uh, the the beer sommelier. I think you learn a whole lot more about the whole voc vocabulary mm -hmm. about how to describe beer, which I don't have that well. Mm -hmm. Um, it's definitely something that I need to work on, um, which is weird, you know, you can't, you brew beer for a living, but you can't describe it that well. Um, there's other people that can do that it's better. Like special language that you yep, can use. definitely um, special language. Like special vocabulary. Um, there's a lot of things that you're tasting and you just don't know how to, how to describe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, definitely doesn't help when it's not written yeah. on the label, <laughs> but we'll give them a pass this time. Maybe uh, they'll watch it and change the labels. But I can I can totally understand because uh, I I haven't done like beer sommelier or something like that. I'm planning on doing that, but um, haven't yet. Um, maybe this year, maybe next year um, in the cold season because then it makes more sense. Yeah. Um, but um, what helped for me was the blind tastings we did at Prostetien. Mm -hmm. Um because that really trains to focus on taste mm -hmm. and smell. And not on what do I see yep. so much. So blind tasting means you didn't see or you just did not know? We, what did, we didn't know what beer we have in there. Right, but you did see it. We did see okay. the beer in the glass. Yeah. And um, basically what Christian did was we, um, we had four different beers. And first we have to guess the style. Mm -hmm. And then we have to guess uh, the brewery. Ooh. That's cool. Um, the first time we did it like entirely blind, so we didn't have any clues. We'll do it on the next one. Yeah. And it's <laughs> really, really good because um, you really tend to focus more on the beer. Mm -hmm. Like if if we drink this now and we know what it is, it what what it is. It's like yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. So you have or already in your mind, you have okay. This is my expectation. What what I want from a double IPA. Um, it's from the US, so I already know, like okay, this is, this is already or... anchored in my mind, um, sure. which is, well, normal, basically. Yep. But if you taste it blindly, uh, you tend to be surprised sometimes. And so we, we did that in the brewing school, tasting blindly, we'd mm. also use brown glass. Yeah, um, brown that's like glass. next level. <laughs> just, just so that you can't see the, the, the color of the beer. Um, everyone was told to bring their their beer that they brew mm -hmm. uh, at their, in their apprenticeship and see if you can get your beer. At, Were people uh, able to? There was only one jump? guy and he was in my class and I think he got everything right, maybe wow. one or two he mixed up. Amazing. But, but every, uh, I didn't get mine right. Um, everyone else <laughs> lost. I did one a few years ago, Holston Edel Pills with Astra Autoop. Oh. Uh, and there was three beers, so two were Astra, one was Holston. Um, I put, yeah, and then the, and sorry, then there was, an, uh, yeah, no, that was it. I put uh, Holston and Astra as the same beer, so I couldn't get those two. Yeah. Which, uh, try it at home, you know. Yeah. Try it's, it at it's home. Really Do try this yeah. at home. Yeah, blind, is blind tasting is a, is a challenge, and it's really cool, especially if you have a favorite beer. If <laughs> someone says, I'm a Yeva drinker, and I don't drink Kronbacher because I drink Yiva. It tastes better. Right. Well, do a no, blind tasting good idea. and see if you can... See blind tastings are an amazing experience. 
But Monkish, um, yeah, I stumbled upon them in uh, at Beyond Beer, and uh, every beer I bought there by them or ordered uh, via some other channel was awesome. So that's why the first name that occurred to me was Monkish okay, uh, when you asked. Yeah. And by the way, it was five bucks in America. Yeah, I know. That is it's probably worth up. a lot more here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it Torrance? Is it Torrance? Is it no? It's uh, in, in Los Angeles, in oh, south, in, south, south, right, south of okay. Los Angeles. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I know. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> I will uh, move on to the next one. What is that beer? Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so <Sort of> weh. <laughs> 16 Euro bei das Beyond. Das war 16 Euro? Bei Beyond kosten die monkisch Biere im Schnitt 16 Euro. Was? That's, uh, ich habe noch nie tough. Dosenbier dort gesehen, die so viel gekostet hat. Ich kann, kann nur empfehlen, wenn man sie bestellen okay. will, JB Craft Drinks. Okay, we're back. We are... Ah oh, ja, yeah. okay, we'll start again. Uh, we are back and we've been mentioning Beyond Beer a lot today, so I went there. And I said to them, do you have anything really special that might impress the guys? Obviously, doesn't impress you because you can tell us a lot about it. Uh, might impress us then. Lost Horizon Farm, Föder Helles. It still impresses though. By I think it impress. Budelship. Yeah, Budelship. Uh, basically, you can see that on the, on the cap um, because that's uh, yeah. the, the Budelship logo. Uh, Lost Horizon uh, is a project that, that they've started a while ago. Um, building up a farmhouse brewery um, and there's been a couple of interesting beer projects from them now uh, that you can get at Bar Orlam and now also at Beyond Beer and at Braustädtchen because they started bottling just recently. So and they started a farmhouse brewery? Yeah. So they're, they're no they longer... Are in... pl they're planting a lot of things themselves. Uh, like a lot of fruit, um, they're working with wild, ye wild yeast a lot, so that makes it. Too? And the brewery, I believe so. Yeah. Beer. And that it doesn't. I think this is own. a Helles that's uh, brewed with uh, Brettanomyces. Oh, no okay. Yeah, like wild yeast. Yeah, so yeah. that's uh, that makes it really interesting. Oh yeah, you can smell. <laughs> um, and they they did a couple of really nice beers already. Um, my favorite so far was the Bauernfrühstück. Bauernfrühstück. Um, yeah, which has like mm. really like right. vinegar, vinegar notes. <laughs> oh, you already started. <laughs> yeah. So vinegar notes. Cider. Mm. Oh no? Well, um, it has like this typical uh, um, bread acid. I would say in the blind tasting, I would not say it's a beer. Mm. Well, I would also not say it's a cider. Yeah, okay. well, it yeah. could be a cider. There are ciders that taste quite similar, but I think it's due to a lot of hmm. like craft ciders being like ha having like the same yeasty uh, aroma profile. But it yeah. would be a really dry cider then. Yeah, maybe, maybe it would just be that, um, that I like cider as well. Mm. And then I can usually taste a wee bit of the fruit. Yeah, there's that's no fruit coming from yeah, it, true, the yeah. apple or the, the pear or whatever. Um, and this is just that, that type of sour, that funky sour mm. that you can get with some good ciders, but it doesn't have the fruit, which is, gives it to me that the, it's a, it's a yep. beer. They, they just agree. started the um, uh, co, -fund, uh, co funding campaign mm -hmm. um, where you can now uh, be a part of the Lost Horizon project. Mm -hmm. And you can get um, T-shirts with the, these hand-printed designs as well, and uh, plant a tree, uh, mm. which is like their um, their second uh, benefit is like uh, you own a tree on the Lost Horizon farm. Which is really, really nice. Near uh, I, I believe it's south of Hamburg. Okay, Freisdorf or Felsdorf? Freisdorf. Freisdorf. Yeah. So that's where the, the new Bottleship Brewery is being Well, built? not the Bottleship Brewery, because Bottleship does still brew at, I think, Vagabond in Berlin. Right. Okay. Um, because they don't have a own brewery yeah. yet. But Lost Horizon Project is what they, they started it pre-Corona, I believe. But then it slowed down a bit. And now it took up a little, little bit more pace. They started a crowdfunding campaign. So it's picking up speed now. 
and they released a couple of beers. Uh, you can taste most of them first at Bar Olam, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and you definitely got to try the Bauernfrühstück. It's amazing. Right. It's like a Flanders, red Flanders ale, um, which almost tastes like combining bacon and um, ah, you lost me a bit. and acid. <laughs> well, acid. we lost you, but yeah, it's bacon like, and it's like, like a sour bacon. It sounds like a fear and loathing. Not Las yourself, Vegas don't beer. try it. Uh, it tastes amazing. Trust All me, right. you got to try it. I had to try it. Um, I think they still have it on tap at uh, Bar Adam. And so the, in this place here, that's the farm where they, where they are planting um, for their fruit trees. and things. Yeah, like planting they, a lot of trees. And they bring um, that over to, to Vagabond. No, I, days, I think or? those they do bottle at Los Horizon Farms. Right, okay. Yeah, so it's like a lot of manual labor there. Yeah. Um, Can you go and visit? Not yet. Okay. Hopefully. No, as soon as it's possible, we're going to do a beer butter fat there. Oh, yeah, okay. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Iris. yeah, we already yeah. wanted to, um, I, I don't know if you know um, Iris, uh, mm -hmm. who does marketing for Astra and me, we have a joint venture project, basically, the Bierbutterfahrt, where mm -hmm. we um, drive to not so easily reachable breweries in okay. one day. So we do like four breweries a day, one tour north, which is already sold out, and one tour south of Hamburg. And Lost Horizon Farms would have been on our list, but they are not open to public yet. So it would be great to do that because that would be really interesting for a lot of, especially beer nerds. Mm. Uh, that would be great because they do really experimental stuff. Mm. So I think this is the first uh, brewery I've noticed, at least in the north of Germany, that are doing stuff that the Belgian breweries are mm -hmm. doing for a long time now. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. So that would be some Tour de Gerse shit. <laughs> tour de Gerse shit, yeah. Yeah. See, so I really this love is a, the technically beers. a Gerse, no? This is a Helles. Further Helles. But it, yeah, it's a Helles, but it's also sour. Sour yeah. Helles. Helles. That's the Further. Sour. What does Further mean? Mm. Mm. I don't know. It's a, I think it's a, a Flamish, uh, Flamish word. I think Buddleship or Lost Horizon, they, they did like a really nice development because they started off with like really the, yeah, the usual stuff like mm -hmm. IPAs, pale ales, maybe a pills here and there, but mostly it was uh, New England IPAs, their Mr. series, like Mr. B, Mr. K, Mr. Mm -hmm. A and stuff like that, um, with all the different animals on that. That were a couple of the first New England IPAs they had here in Hamburg. Um, and especially Mr. B had like a real hype. It was the, the whale. The whale, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. The blue whale. Yeah. Uh, where they did a re-release, yeah. uh, I think, one year ago, yeah. roughly. Um, yeah, they were, yeah, I remember. But they never really wandered off to the experimental stuff. And now they're doing exactly that, and oh, they're God. doing it nice. very, very nicely. That's pretty cool for, for a brewery that didn't specialize in that at the start. Yeah. And mm. now doing stuff yeah. with wild yeast yeah. and in barrels mm -hmm. and stuff like that's, that. Um, that's a whole nother level of difficulty, especially yeah. because you're just playing with, you're playing with living, living organisms that mm. don't always do what you want them to do, yeah. um, which is kind of difficult much, much, sometimes. Although I haven't worked with wild fer fermentation before. Um, yeah. I've heard a few things from Eris, from her travels coming back from Belgium and <laughs> Two degrees. France, that, <laughs> that they can't store the, the, the uh, wooden barrels, three barrels, or only three barrels high after three barrels uh, high, it's too warm, mm -hmm. and then the, the beer will turn into vinegar. Mm -hmm. Um, so they all store just three barrels high, which I wouldn't have thought of, but mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So Crazy. it's a difficult business, I think, sour beers. I think lactobacillus, milk soda is probably the, the easiest. That's easier, yeah. Uh, so a kettle sour, you can kill off the sour, you can kill off yeah. the bac bacteria. Um, but this stuff, and you don't have you to should, like do a huge basin of spontaneous fermented Astra. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to bring any of those type of yeast into my brewery. Um, yeah. that's, that's why the the the, the kettle sour is um, yeah. 
probably more prolific because every brewery can do one without contaminating their brewery. Yeah. yeah. Um, so but yeah, I think this is, this is like a real nice start to yeah. wild fermented beers yeah. because it's not too funky. Mm. It's not too sharp. Um, you can really like easily get yep. into that. And uh, it tastes it's better than a Hellas and Bayern. Yeah. All right. For me. <laughs> Lovely final words. <laughs> We got two stouts to finish this off. One is the Harry Craig, <laughs> Harry Craig from New Zealand, and the Dark Ambition Imperial Stout, woo, 8.3% from uh, Amazing Brewing. So, uh, where were we? I think that one had 9.1 or something like oh, that. Or even more. Even more, yeah. All right, so, let, do you wanna, where do you want to start? This one then. Yeah, let's start yeah, we with start with that Korean. one. Uh, so we already had a beer from Amazing Brewing. Um, this is like the counterpart. So this is the counterpart beer to the first love. Yeah. Um, that's why we had to have it today. It's the last love. That's <laughs> basically, yeah. And is it called last love? No, no it's dark ambition. Uh, dark uh, dark ambition. Be called it, so it's still got something is, to do with love. They should call it last <laughs> love. That'd be, that'd be fitting. Yeah, but they didn't have that on tap. So that's the first time that I'm going to be drinking that as well. Okay, okay. cool. Wow, looks good. It smells good as well. It has like a marshmallowy smell though. It oh wow, it does. Mm. It it really smells like very candies. Yeah, yeah. candy. Yeah, like the mm. um, um, do you know the the uh, dessert in a can stuff by um, is it Amundsen? Amundsen, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but, but, but it doesn't, or three beans you, or it doesn't like smell so artificial, yeah. but it, it does have like a marshmallowy Definitely has a marshmallow smell to it. But that's really nice. Mm. Maybe maple wow. syrup. I'm trying, yeah, I'm maple trying syrup? to think what it is. Maple syrup? Could be maple syrup. Wow. This or is some amazing. type of golden syrup or something yeah. like that. This is amazing and interesting. Because I, 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 yeah, I didn't want to say interesting because mm. interesting can be weird. This might have... Uh, this is crazy interesting. This might have right? something... Can you please read what it's in? I think we have to Google. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, I think that we label. might have to have to go into Untapped or something like that, because that is a bit crazy. I like it. It it's has crazy. like a candy Ooh. candy taste to it. This dark ambition, right? Yeah, uh, dark ambition. Well, but it's a clean beer, though. Beautiful oh, it is a, a it is a milk and sweet stout. All right. So we have to. So it's got a bit of lactose in there. Probably, yeah. Maybe a wee bit of sugar. Um, a, bit of, um, wow. a bit of vanilla mixed maybe. out with raspberry and vanilla. Raspberry and vanilla. So That's vanilla. where the candy taste comes from. The raspberry. Like the raspberry. Yeah, yeah, I, I can sense the raspberry. It's like raspberry with the roasty flavor. It can have like a candy taste. When, when you say it now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I've, totally. had, I've had a couple stouts with raspberry in them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Maybe maybe I'm more surprised now because I just couldn't read the label. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's almost like a blind taste. It's but it, it, it definitely yeah. had like a candy-ish taste. Yeah. So I feel that in my mouth still. But yeah, it's like this slight fruity taste of the raspberry, like kind of makes it feel like a chuba chup. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. But still, it's rather stick. Hmm. And milk stouts tend to be very sweet. So. Um, I'm really impressed. Yeah. Well, it's nice though. I'd, I'd love to be able to brew a beer like that at Astra. Go. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask the, the colleagues in, uh, in Seoul. Yeah. Seoul, is it? Yeah. Seoul, yeah. yeah. They're really quick in, in answering the emails. Yeah, oh. they are. Yeah. yeah, just get in touch with them. It's delicious. I really love it. Are there also, you're saying that most of the breweries are run by Canadian or American Mm -hmm. expats um, are there are there also a lot of Korean brewers working in the breweries yeah by now yeah um, but most of them learned their craft either in Canada or America they went over there and came mm -hmm. back okay yeah. and well, I had most of the talks with um, with Jay from magpie brewing and uh, he's a Korean but he went to, I believe it was Canada, to, to learn his craft. So yeah, it's a, um, it's an, it's a, I like that they do uh, 0 0.5 in Korea. Yeah, that's good. They do that a lot there. Uh, bottles as well. Mm. 
I thought they were uh, 0 0.75 though. I, I, I just hang on. I thought the bottles, uh, the big ones I brought back were like uh, 0 0.75, really? like the Belgian bottles, because they looked so big, but they were just really thick glass, and they were just of life. Okay, this is really black. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, super black. Um, see, it's a hairy craig. An Irish cream stout from Ooh, Lake. So we, oh, okay. So it might be sweet as well. Yeah, it might be sweet. Probably, a wee, yeah. Like bit of, um, bit of uh, Bailey's, sort of the mm. creamy liqueur. Mm. Um, might be like, might be like caramelly. Yep. A little bit. Definitely. So Bailey's mm. has got a wee bit of that. So Taupo is a, Taupo is the, the biggest lake in New Zealand. It used to be a super volcano, which. Okay, nice exploded around 26,000 years ago, um, put the world into a wee bit of an ice age. That's how big that, that <laughs> volcano was. Um, and this brewery is right on the shores of Lake Taupo, nice. um, run by James Cooper. Uh, he's a cool guy. He's actually a cattle and sheep farmer. Um, <laughs> Who brews a lot. He brews so. beers. Uh, so he started out hobby brewing. Um, his beers were shit at the start, and then, <laughs> and then his, his Did you bro try them as well? Uh, I didn't try. I've only tried the good beers. Uh, okay. So, he, but he um, admitted. No, I only met him. So it's here. No, he, yeah, he told me. He told <laughs> okay. me. We, we met. We met earlier this year. Okay. Um, they don't let. They don't take visitors to the brewery, but I was allowed to get in because I'm a, a brewer. So it was, it was quite kiwi. nice. And so a kiwi. Fun and yeah, Sorry, cheers. It's an all black. It's an all black. That's it's an all black. <laughs> It's a hairy old black. Hairy old black. <laughs> a lot more roasty notes. Yeah. Uh, caramelly. Yeah. yeah. It's just... Yeah, it's very much it's, more like a, a normal stout, so to say, in, yep. in comparison, right? Well, it depends what you refer to as a normal stout. Okay, yes. I, yeah, what's what's I, a reference? Guinness, okay. I'm, a, I'm afraid to say. Yeah, so but, Guinness, the, but Guinness, Guinness, Guinness would be like even drier. Yeah, definitely drier. And not as sweet. Guinness no. is, is very this dry. This is like burnt caramel for me. Yeah, totally. Like a like, uh, caramel that you left in the pan a little bit too long. It's like slightly uh, burnt. Right, the right amount of time. Okay. Well, that you like, that you may want it burned a little bit. But yeah, yeah. it is a wee bit of mm. that caramelized sugar. But I think it's like slightly burnt caramel. Agreed. Yep, which you might also be getting as well through the through the boil. Mm. Um, not too bad. Um, Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying love, to think. I love the, the smell. Mm -hmm. Same. I think the the smell gets to me even more than the taste, um, because yeah, it smells like burnt caramel, and I love the smell of caramel as such. But burnt caramel, I love. It's like this, like slightly overdone. A little bit too much heat, yeah, and it's just like that. And I would love this beer uh, with Bierstachel. Yeah, what's Bierstachel? Mm -hmm. It's um, a the tradition from Bavaria, basically, right? The 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 yep. Yeah. The well, I'm not sure where the tradition comes. I'll take take your only word. Yeah. Um, but the the red hot glowing stainless steel ball. Oh, you haven't had a Bierstachel? Yeah, we've had a Bierstachel. What? Well, maybe we should what do another hell? video with Bierstachel. Yes, what we need we to do a special about? in uh, like around Christmas season and then do a Bierstachel and a Glühbier. Yep. So Bierstachel is you have a, a rod with a metal ball at the end, which you uh, have on a flame, get it red hot. Mm -hmm. And then you just take your beer, your beer and dip it in, twist it a wee bit and take it out or foam up. Um, and now you've you've put a red hot piece of metal into your beer, generally a beer like this, with a lot of uh, doesn't um, like it rest sugar, uh, a lot of rest sugars, a lot of sugars. It's a sweet beer, mm. which they're gonna instantly caramelize to that red hot metal, um, and give it yeah this sort of a burnt caramel taste, a little bit wee more bit of smoky, that. a wee bit warm as well. Mm take it out, and then you have also the beer that, that hasn't had the iron in it, and you try the difference. No. Beautiful. It's a really, Who the hell really, came up with that? I don't know, but don't, it's a really it's good tradition. Um, probably probably like a, an, an... I think it's from Bavaria. Uh, I do believe so. Yeah. Because Bierstachen in, mm, yeah. in Bavaria is like a tradition. 
Um, and I really loved the event that Christian had at Braustädtchen this year. Uh, no, last year. Um, like somewhere in December. And he it had Glühbier and Bierstachen. So you could stachel every beer that he had uh, there. And we tried it with so many different with beers. IPAs and stuff as well. We tried or? it with everything. <laughs> but uh, it was especially good with the really heavy stuff. Yeah, dark beers or box yes, or things like yes. that. Like um, Trappist beers, yep. uh, Imperial Stouts, uh, everything in that region. Um, that, yeah. was, that was really great. And also um, a Glühbier. Um, but the James Cooper, the guy that started the brewery, he's still a sheep and cattle farmer. So um, his day... So his main job? Is, is definitely his main job. So his day consists of going out on the, on the quad bike with his, with his dogs, mustering and herding cattle and sheep. Wow. Bringing them back in. <laughs> um, the sheep and the cattle, they also, and pigs also there, they feed off of the, the spent grain. Well, that's fever. nice though. Um, and they've got some really young blood brewers there. Uh, I met the head brewer, he's about 10 years younger than me. Like 22, um, 21. Yeah, 22, so 21. Um, so 12. They, they, yeah, 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> so, so they, started, they started winning awards when he started, which I read on their website. Um, he was a good guy. He definitely has his wits about him. Um, and you know what, can I say it's World famous in New Zealand. Definitely world famous in New Zealand, but I didn't know that that, that, that slogan was told. Lemon and power. Uh, lemon and power, that's it. I love that slogan. Um, maybe that's the bullshit that they're... Maybe that's the bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I mean, this is the first stout that I had from them. The main that's beers good. that I had from them were, were New England IPAs, Pale Ales IPAs. How do you like um, those? They, mainly they do Napers, yeah. uh, and I found them really good. Okay. Um, I found them very good, especially for the, the small scale of their brewery. So they, they are the, the double as big as, uh, well, they can brew double as much as what I can brew mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um, from, from in, in a day, I mean. Mm -hmm. I think we've, we might have roughly the same amount of tanks, but probably have a bit more, but they have a canning line um, and they're just integrated uh, uh, already in all the supermarkets and all the bottle shops, the uh, the cans don't st stand around that long on the on the hoof. I was gonna say, stock up, we're coming, right? Uh, straight from yeah. straight from Korea, over here. Lake Man's cool, guys. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Thank Irgendwas you so mit much. Bier, something with beer. Uh, I don't know. Special episode across the world or whatever or korea new zealand was well, like like most, korea, new zealand. most hamburg it's like, hang on hamburg it's like korea new zealand germany korea US, korea US. germany oh, yes, new zealand okay, so let me, yeah. wow we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna cut not a uh, special episode hamburg um, los angeles korea new zealand thank you very yeah. much no Lads. worries thank, thank you. you fellas thank you cheers cheers big ears Yes, take care.